Nobody But You, the demo. I uh, wrote this song with Shane McAnally, Josh Osborne, and Tommy Lee James. One of my favorite songs I've ever been a part of. And I just kind of wanted to walk you through how this song started. Um, the song started with this basic track. Um, let me mute the vocal here. I kind of started with just that, and I kind of just, I kind of made those chords, and I laid down this this high guitar, and that kind of served as like the 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 bed to build this song on, as well as these uh, this pad in expand. This there's some great pads in expand I use all the time. Um, so after that, I thought, okay, this needs like a rhythmic element. So I, I made this guitar kind of felt like it, it could serve as a rhythm through the whole song, which you can see it does. Um, and so I had the foundation and then I just started like mumbling chorus ideas and I started going, I don't, I don't want to live without you. I don't want to love you. That's kind of my process, just, just mumbling out words that don't mean anything, but I always find that when you can pull out the song from those mumblings, that's when you find a, a super magical song. And when you can capture the emotion with the lyric um, that I was emoting, and, and Shane and Josh and Tommy Lee James were able to, to, to do that with me, and um, I just love it so much. So, so it came around for the chorus here. And I added another one of these high guitars just to kind of give that chorus a little jump. Josh Osborne actually sang this demo. I'll let you hear the um, hear the chorus here in a minute. But um, so there's a, there's some hi hat movement on the on this chorus in the initial beat, which I actually saved for the chorus. It's kind of just this simple little hat snare pattern with a little bit of subdivision coming up right there kind of moving it so on top of that I stacked some claps two sets of claps a little 808 gotta have the swells kind of setting up that chorus you can hear me here I actually didn't swell into the chorus I just put them on the top to just crash uh, okay so that's pretty much the beat, um, and there is a tambourine on top right here. There's a tambourine kind of taking care of that top end. And so then, to, to cover the low end, I, I love this sub bass. It's just so full, it takes care of all the bottom for me. And then, I think I think of songs in, in frequency spectrum, so I, I put this, the piano right here in the middle, playing the, the pattern kind of fills that range for me. Um, and then added another Omnisphere track on this course just to give it that magical kind of glue. It's actually just holding down two notes serving as a, a pad through this whole chorus. It's not even changing the chords. Um, so here's the chorus with all of that put together. Love this uh, background vocal thing we did here. It was just a nice little addition to that turnaround before you hit the second verse. Um, also did that under the solo, and the solo is another cool guitar part. I love adding a crystallizer, which kind of like brings out those high crazy frequencies that you don't even know are there and just kind of throws them in, into the abyss and it actually just rings out really nicely here ringing out through this down section. The 
so that's nobody but you. It, it was very simple. It, it was all about the melody and, and simple idea. Um, that's how this track started. Blake Shelton cut this with Gwen Stefani. Um, they made it sound so awesome. But I just wanted to share the demo with you, and I, um, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>